I didn't really want to participate in, um, you know, the sort of conventional means of making art and uh, I never really thought of myself as a, a graphic designer either. And that wasn't really my goal. Um, I'm definitely interested in the economy of art making and I think that my goal was to, as much as I could, disrupt, um, you know, different trajectories for making, making art. Um, I didn't, I've never felt like I really wanted to participate in um, galleries uh, and, and following this trajectory, which, um, is sort of the mainstay um, when you've gone through the art schools. Um, seems like there's a distinct path that one is supposed to follow. Um, and I have to say that never really interested in me. I didn't want to make things that, you know, uh, had sort of an antiseptic beauty to them. I wanted to kind of crumble that antiseptic beauty. Yet. Um, and I think initially, I wanted to make things that were like sort of horrible, and I wanted to use materials that aren't meant to last. I, you know, I wanted to make something a bit more ephemeral than that. Um, I mean, how long is a piece of art supposed to last? Um, you know, and I think that the idea is behind a lot of artists' work is to make something that lasts forever and maybe it'll find a place in some, you know, dusty old hall or museum or... <clears throat> and, you know, the best case scenario in some ways, from what I could see for a lot of artists, is that their, their work would be somehow maintained and boxed up and crated and stacked next to somebody else's and, and by and large, you know, you're in, as an artist, you're in some sort of like holding pattern. And I, I didn't want to wait. 